day seven. Um, slept pretty good last night. Uh, wind got down to nothing. That was nice because we're up kind of high, you saw. Um, so I'm going to do about the same, 14, possibly 15 today. Uh, I know I'm not supposed to be doing those yet. But um, big reason for that, though, is tomorrow I'll have like seven miles into Julian so I can get there nice and early, take advantage of everything. It's just supposed to be a real cool town, so I want to do a little exploring and obviously see how many times I can eat their food. I want to try and camp around there so I can hit lunch, dinner, breakfast, and, and the following morning and take off. I'm kind of getting a lot of video of the same thing. It's nice, and there's more epic stuff coming. But uh, hey, there's a road over there. I see a road. Yeah, more epic stuff coming, obviously. Sierras and whatnot. But I'm having fun. I met a couple of British folks. Uh, I camped with a, a guy from Kent. Uh, you know, close to, it's kind of close to London. So, a lot more international people on the PCT than there was the AT. Um, very few on the AT. I don't know what that really means. I will try and figure out that psychology. One piece of psychology, it doesn't matter where you're from, how old you are, what color your skin is. If you're doing this, you're crazy. You're crazy person. You know, crazy like an adventurous, fun, you know, smiley kind of way. Not a need meds or you'll stab everybody kind of way. That you get it. It's about 11. Um, water today is kind of funky. It's a little few and far between. And the place I'm going, it's another six miles. I'm definitely going to get to, I don't know how many I've gone so far, probably seven, maybe. Um, yeah, probably seven. Right around there. Anyway, um, but that place, it's a tank, and it's like almost a mile off trail. Uh, which obviously that's a mile back or almost a mile back. I'm gonna have to do that I, I'm pretty sure But I've been kind of wobbly on water. And I just walked by it's 11 It's not time for lunch, but there's this little water source. It's kind of running down here a little bit I think I'm gonna go ahead and Have lunch I can get underneath the wind put the umbrella out get a shady spot working out all right so I figured out there's actually another water tank half a mile from here so I'm gonna go up to that and that's supposed to be pretty good and right on trail I think I'm gonna sit there and camel up and then um, I'm gonna hike past that other one the other water tank that was like a mile off trail it's gonna go blow past that and I'm gonna get to my campsite I'm just gonna be a little a little hard loaded water water I'm just tr drink a lot of this thing and then hard load to there and get to my campsite, which will be dry, but I'll have plenty of water. And then tomorrow it'll be a seven mile quick shot into, uh, well, at least to the road that I can get a hitch into uh, Julian. Hey, sorry I'm late for the meeting. Lunch number two. So here's what the pipe water looks like. There we go. It's pretty good too. I've been drinking some. It's cold. Burned about an hour at the water tank. But I drank a lot. Ate some more. And I uh, filled up a lot 
with uh, with water. I've got about eight miles to go, maybe eight and a half. I'm not 100% sure um, to be where I'm going, where I want to be. Should be about a 15 mile day, which I know it's a lot for uh, where, where I'm at at the beginning of this trail. I don't want to do that much, but it sets me up nice and I feel okay, but I'm mindful of it. Because um, tomorrow, it's only about a seven, eight, seven mile day into Julian. I think I've already said this, sorry. And I'm going to stay in Julian uh, at the uh, American Legion Hall. They're going to let me stay there. And um, so I only have a seven mile day tomorrow, kind of a Nero day. It's supposed to be, I think I've said this too, is a cool town. Uh, I don't know if I have or not. It's a mining town. You know, and those are all kind of cool, but it's lots of food. We get some free pie for PCT hikers. All the stuff. So tomorrow should be a, should be a cool day. Yeah, the first rattlesnake. Can you hear him? He's in that bush right there. It's right there by the trail, so. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Back up a little bit, I'll tell you that. So if you're new to the channel, here's a piece of information is, I'm not afraid of much, I'm afraid of snakes. It doesn't matter if they're poisonous, venomous or not, even if it's a good snake, it's a big old cobra to me. Um, been afraid of them since I was a little kid. Doesn't stop me, it makes me real cautious. If you see some of the other videos in the high, especially the ATs, there's a bunch of snakes there as well. Timber rattlers, saw a bunch of those. Uh, this will be like a diamondback or something. I used to live in the desert, so I'm familiar with these. Um, I hate them. All right. I went back down there and got a little closer. He's right under that bush. He's real close to the trail. He's pointed right at the trail. He's all rear back like that, ready to, ready to go, so... I'm sure I can just walk by and be fine. But I'm scared cat. I did not film that. <laughs> I got as close as I could. As far away as I could, which wasn't very far because I got rocks on both sides of me. And I just ran like crazy. Man, I ate snakes. Doing all right? Yeah, man. Good. Yeah. What'd you take, two zeros? <laughs> I took a zero um, at Cleef, and then I'm gonna take a well, zero. I know that, but I mean, no. between Laguna and here. No. It's only been one day. <laughs> Where have you been? Um, I should be in chilling. I should be in Candy Meadows by now. Yeah, I know. I've been taking it easy. Just slow coasting. I'm getting tired. It's like three something. And I still, I don't know, have like four or five miles to go. I'm 12 and a half miles in, it's 3.30. I'm tired. I saw a real sweet camp spot about a half mile back. I should stay. I should have stayed at it. Probably, I don't know. Okay, I'm back on it. Uh. Yeah, 12 and a half. Just go to like another three miles. I don't know. Just committed to having a seven mile day in tomorrow. I think the next, if I find another one, good place, I'll just stop. Stay an extra mile or two tomorrow. Still a mile away from when the tent start tent sites start. I could go have to go as far as two and a half miles. I'm so done. Um, probably about 14 miles. Today's been a tougher day though. Definitely hotter. <clears throat> um, 
should have stopped at those campsites back there at 12.4. All right, this is it. There's one spot. I don't have anybody with me, so these one spotters are nice to see. <clears throat> just gonna take a break and just drink water. All right, so I'm just hanging out. I'm gonna wait 30, 45 minutes before I uh, um, put up my tent and stuff. I made a, a drink with electrolytes in it. And I've been drinking all day, but I'm just gonna really pound the electrolytes. So today was right at 15 miles three more than I should have done. I should have stopped at that 12.4. But I am officially only seven miles away from uh, where I need to hitch into Julian. So that'll be good. That'll be good. There's a... I'm still in the shade, but there's like the valley behind me, and you can see like there's a... When I get set up, I'll show you. This is a good view. All right, that's it. I'm standing on the trail. And... There's my tent campsite. See you on the morning. All right, this is the real send off. <laughs> Today was just, I don't know, it was only nine tenths of a mile more, but the last three miles, I just barely could make it. So, summary of that is if, uh, Julian's pretty awesome tomorrow. I might just move there.